to create a folder. Suggest you create it under the C drive. I have a folder called PDF here and 001 test report if you want to follow the same process. The reason why I would put it on the C drive is otherwise you might run into the risk that it keeps updating the cloud. Uh, I have one drive, so every time I put something on the on my uh, documents folder, it updates the, the cloud and that slows the computer and I use a lot of resources. So this is why I like to have it on C drive because the, we're generating a lot of PDFs and if there's something wrong in your program, then <laughs> you might find yourself with a lot of files. So this is my preference, put it, uh, create a folder, PDF, a 001 uh, test report, if you want to do like me and put it there. The second thing is to select a report. So this is not a demo on how to make this report. Uh, I have the link in the description. That's uh, I have another video for, for that purpose. But you take any report, a note on colors. So all the colors of your report, uh, the one that you want to change, because this is the purpose of this, we want to change colors, uh, they should come from the, from the theme colors. Uh, not the standard colors, if you uh, will see how to use the standard colors in a minute, but all the colors that you have here should come from the theme colors because the trick we'll be doing is we'll be changing the theme. And as you change the theme, you go through all these colors there. Now, the exception is if you want to have fields uh, that keep the same color. Uh, for instance, if you have a logo uh, that uh, the color has to stay the same, right? So you can create a box and then you either uh, select a standard color that the color will not change. And I, but as you assume if you have logo, you have a proper color and then you will select your color here for your logo or you have the, the hex here. Uh, for instance, I'm just going to take a random one. So we have a, this is, let's say this is your logo color. Now, if I move it on the side here, now if I change the, the theme, Everything changed, but this doesn't change. So if you want things that don't change, uh, use the standard color or your own color here. So I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm going to stick with it. I'm just going to keep this and I'm just going to put logo here. Uh, this is going to be terribly ugly, but uh, for the for training purpose that that will do. Okay. Now there's a, a couple of fields that I would like to put. One is a date of print. Uh, for this report. So that will change and I will put today here in this field uh, and the recipient name. So I'm just putting it in the, in my cell W23 here. I will put uh, the recipient here that will be automated but uh, just to show you what it looks like I will put a recipient here and I will have a type of a box as well. Uh, I will insert a box and in that box, I will just click on the border of that box and I would say this is the recipient. And then you can do some basic formatting how you want it. Okay, so maybe a bit darker. Okay, so we have a logo and we have the recipient and we have a date. Now we'll have a look at this later on how to create a a button to generate the report. Now the second step is to create another tab called palette tab. Uh, you just uh, rename the tab, call it palette, and you start off with a list of uh, color palettes. So th these are the Microsoft uh, palettes. So you need somehow to extract them from somewhere and put them here. But uh, if you if you get stuck, just happy to put them in a video description. Or if you ask for the template, then uh, you, you will have them in a template already. Those are the name of all the, the themes that we have. So this is your starting point. So as optional, um, I've done that in the report. I just give it a name, so it's a little bit more uh, easier to, to recognize. So I just uh, name the first one, turn one, and all the way to turn 23. Now what we want to do is uh, copy the, have a recipient here for each one. This is the purpose of this. We said we want something di different for each re recipient, whether it's realistic or not, that's what we wanted. So if we put the one John, Peter, uh, Betty, and towards the end we just can just put the generic one here. 
So by default, the program will go through all those and will have a different uh, palette for each one of the recipient here. But later on, what you can do is you can just uh, change the program to just have a few printed here and you could uh, allocate the same. You, for instance, you could just uh, have the, the green yellow here for Anna and uh, generic as well and, and also for this one. So you have all the flexibility here. But uh, to start with, just as a demo, we do this. So what also I like to do is to give a preview of uh, what uh, the report will look like. So here I'm just going to go to that cell here, the cell F2, and I'm just going to select those three cells here. I'm just going to make them a little bit obvious. I'm just going to put a border. And what I want to do is I want to replicate some of the core colors that I have in my report. So if I go back to my report. So let's say I want to replicate this deep, deep blue here. So I'll put it here. That's it. Now, now I have recreated uh, the three colors that I have in my main theme. So as we are currently under the office theme, the, so that will be the basic color of the office theme. So that's it. So this has been created. We have our report ready to receive data. And the rest will be done through a, a short VBA program, very short one. Now in the next step, we need to create a very small uh, Visual Basic program. So if you've never done one, you just need to make sure that you activate the, the Developer tab. And uh, the difference is that you, you need to save your Excel as a uh, macro-enabled workbook, XLSM. And uh, Microsoft might keep uh, <laughs> warning you about this is uh, 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 dangerous and the likes, but you've created it yourself and you did import it from anyone, so you're pretty safe. Now, if you go under, if you manage to get in the developer tab, you go under Visual Basics, and then you create one of those module, a module here. And I've uh, named my module print report. That will give you just the key components and the, the, the trick that we use. So first of all, we, we declare some, some strings, log, timestamp, name folder. Uh, this here, function here, is to make sure that the, the screen doesn't keep popping up every time I, I go through a new theme or a new iteration, of a new loop. Now, I, I create a folder. Uh, the reason why I, I'm using a, a timestamp is I want to avoid the error where I create twice the same folder. So if I use a timestamp, as it's done to the second, I am sure that I will never duplicate my reports. And the name folder will be the timestamp and weekly report. So I create a folder every time with the, the, the path that you have selected, plus the name of the folder that we've just created here. Now what we need to do is we need to create two ranges. The first one that you would call my palette range, and the second one that you will call current palette. Now, I need to go back into my spreadsheet and give a name to this area here. So for the moment, we are, we call it MSF, Microsoft Theme. And now the next step is to set my palette range, the range that I've defined, to uh, this area that I've created here. So this will be, this will be looping through this. Now I'm setting up some variables, so the J is equal to four. For each one of those palettes, we, we change the, the path uh, for the palette that uh, Microsoft will have to choose. So that is where my palette, uh, Microsoft palette is located on my computer. So it might be different for you. So you might want to uh, look for it. Uh, you look for theme colors on your computer and it should be somewhere around this. And what I do is I am putting the current palette, this palette here, I am selecting it from the Microsoft list. And the important function here is this one. So you activate the theme 
from the palette that we have just selected here. So we just activate the theme and this is where Microsoft will change the color. So this is really the, the gist of it. Now, for each one of those lights, I replicate those colors, but for the current theme. So this will give you an idea of what the, the report will look like. Now I declare the recipient name and what I do is I go into the, the worksheet palette and I retrieve this name and I put it here, in this field here. This way the box will pick it up. So now I have my recipient name. So I put it in the field, in the cell W23. So I retrieve the tone name as well from this. I want to give the, I want to include the tone name also in the name of the, of the file. And I create the tone path. So this is where we will be uh, creating our folder. If I jump forward a little bit here, the file name that I want to give to that PDF is the weekly report. I want to give the tone name and the tone name is what I have in my palette here. Let me move that, what I have in my palette uh, tab here, plus the one of Microsoft, plus the Microsoft name. I'm covering myself. <laughs> and then I put the recipient name that I've created further up just here, recipient name, a string. So this way that will look something like this. Weekly report, tone one, office 2013, and then the name of the recipient. Uh, you can obviously change that the, the way you like. So the lock will be used to create the file. So here, this is how I export the file as a PDF. Active workbook worksheets, export as fixed format, and then you say the type you put X1 type PDF. And the file name will be lock that I have here, which is the tone path, which is the path that I've created here, and the name of the file. So slash and the name of the file and then you loop on the next current palette so the current palette you go through all this and you do the same thing for every color palette that you have so here i what i do is i change the theme of the active workbook otherwise you it, it would as it's looping it would uh, keep me at uh, the gray scale as my palette um, so i want to go back to this and of course i will also uh, allow for the screen to be updated once you've done that, you can compile it and hopefully it works. So let's just uh, have a quick demo. But before we do the demo, what I wanted to do is I wanted to create this. So uh, the the way I've created it is I just can do it again. If you like, I just uh, create a text box. And then what I do is I right click on it and I assign a macro and you should see the VBA that you have just start it so you just select it and then you create something here so if you want to be of, of course you can uh, you know you can create a name and, and do all the formatting here so if you want to bring back an icon or a shape or anything you just to bring it back this way uh, look for anything i'm just going to take the first one that comes just to show you the demo here so if you right click on the, on the shape itself on the icon you can uh, assign a macro uh, if i do a demo if I do a demo, if I print here, let's say it's uh, 11.15, I print here. Do you want to go ahead? So that's a little warning message that I had at the beginning. Now it should be creating all this. I go here. Now the computer is a bit slow when this happens. Uh, I've created, uh, it's doing it now actually. The date, 11.15, and it's selecting it in front of our eyes. Okay, looks like it's finished. If I click on one, the green one, Tommy. Okay, so this is the outcome. <laughs> so it's a bit bright, um, but you can have much more subtle colors. Obviously, if you if you uh, report to start with, is is uh, different. So here, that brought back the recipient here that left the logo as is, and that's uh, bringing back the the date that we had to this date in um, 
Australian format. Now if I go back to my palette tab, what he's done is he's done as predicted. He's actually it is taking the theme uh, for every theme is reporting back this uh, these colors here. So that gives you an idea. That can give you an idea of the one that you think are most subtle. Uh, we can check another one. This one, for instance, red violet. Should give you an idea. Yep. And this one is a generic one. The uh, logo has not changed. In order to print only your report and not to print all this stuff here, you select the area that you want to print. And you go under page layout and you say uh, under page layout and you select print area, set print area. And I will set you this area as a print area. Thank you, Ben. Uh, and then print titles then you should find it back here as well, I19 to U20, uh, to U54. Okay, that's it. So to use with moderation, but I think that can be useful if you select only a few, maybe you can just change your loop and you, you instead of having all this as your array, you can maybe just have a few and you can repeat some colors that you like for, for a few of those people there. If you like the blue, for instance, you can just put it blue and after you go back to whatever you like. Okay, so that was just a quick demo, uh, including Visual Basic. <laughs>